Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've checked in with you. I hope you're doing well. What I have for you this month is a, a take and make craft uh, that was supposed to happen for FanCon. Some of you may remember we've done FanCon the uh, past two years uh, in January, the Friday before Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, that's typically a day that a lot of you have off from school uh, and we were gonna have it this year, but we couldn't. We were closed and we, we weren't able to do any in-person programming, obviously uh, because of COVID. But I do have something I would like you to come pick up from the library. You can take it home, you can put it together, and uh, it can kind of be a reminder of, of uh, FanCon. Uh, so the theme this year for FanCon was appropriately enough through the looking glass. Uh, it sort of seems like we've fallen through, uh, fallen through the looking glass into Wonderland these days with all of the, the differences to our everyday life. But uh, I would like you to come in, grab one of these kits, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to put it together. So if you have questions, feel free to call me. The library is open now from 9.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. Or you can email me. Uh, it's justin.dinger at alslib.info. Uh, I will put that in the description of this video below. So um, if you have trouble with this, uh, hit me up. We'll see what we can do. Uh, so what we are going to be doing for FanCon, for the Take and Make Craft, is we are going to be putting together a little uh, succulent garden. Uh, I picked one here to, to demonstrate with. It's kind of Kind of doesn't look good, so I hope I can rejuvenate it and bring it back to life. But the, the rest of the succulents that I have ordered look great, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Um, so what you're going to need for this, and, and you'll get a little kit that comes with all this, you'll need uh, a succulent, obviously. You're going to need this glass tea mug, sort of appropriate for Alice in Wonderland with the tea party. Um, and then you're going to need some aquarium gravel. This will all be in the kit that you pick up so you won't have to provide anything except for some water probably. Um, some cactus succulent soil here. Uh, a few uh, little rocks here for decorating. If you have something else you want to decorate with, feel free to use that. These are not uh, uh, critical to the, the health of your succulent. They're just there to kind of look nice. So if you've got agates or whatever you want. Go ahead and throw that in there. And then also um, there'll be some of these little Alice in Wonderland cake toppers. So you can kind of populate your succulent garden with the characters from Alice in Wonderland. So um, there will be, uh, these things will all be in a, a brown paper bag that you can pick up at the circulation desk. Um, I will leave the succulents out. You can pick which succulent you want. I don't want to put those in the bag just because I don't think that's good for succulents. But uh, why don't we go ahead and get started on making our succulent garden. All right, you can see I have everything I need gathered here. Um, I've got the aquarium rock, the uh, cactus soil, our decorative rocks, of course our succulent and our topper, as well as our glass mug. So uh, one thing to note uh, with this particular succulent garden setup is there are no drain holes in this mug. So you have to be very careful not to overwater your succulent. Succulents are desert plants. They don't need a ton of water. So um, you, you do run the risk of overwatering because there's no place for that water to go. That is why we have the aquarium rock. We're gonna put that in at the bottom. It doesn't have to be a lot, but we'll get that in there. It just makes a nice little uh, base for the soil to sit on. And since this is clear, you'll be able to see through here. And, and if the water is above that rock, I mean, if it's sitting above that rock, you don't want to add any more water until everything is dried out. So that's what the aquarium gravel was for. Uh, if you have a different color of aquarium gravel or uh, another system that you'd like to use to sort of elevate the soil off the bottom a little bit, feel free to use it. Um, I, I kind of like this color. Kind of reminds me of Wonderland. It's sort of got the pastelies and stuff, but uh, that's that's the uh, <clears throat> the base of our succulent garden. Next, you're going to want to take your soil. This is uh, cactus and succulent soil. Uh, this is something probably that you don't want to change out. If you if you have a different type of gardening soil, it might not be as good for the succulents. So um, use this. Um, I think you can pick this up at Walmart. I ordered this online, um, but I, I think you can pick this up at Walmart if there's not enough or if, if you like this and you want to keep going, you want to grow more succulents, pick up the, the cactus and succulent soil mix. So uh, next we're going to 
put most of this soil in the cup, not quite all of it, but we'll fill it up, um, maybe leave three quarters of an inch or an inch uh, of space between the top and the soil. Uh, what that's gonna allow us to do is we're gonna put our succulent in there and then we'll add the rest of the soil around it to sort of level it off. But uh, to remove your succulent, uh, you just kind of have to get it out like that. One tip that I have heard uh, is that you should you should remove a lot of this soil because this soil um, is meant to hold moisture uh, because these plantings go a long time without getting water because they, they came through the mail. So um, I'm going to remove this and it's just going to leave me with a very little plant here. Just be careful not to damage the roots. Try and get as much off as you can. You might not be able to get it all off. And that's okay. So uh, what you can see here is I've got my tiny little succulent. I hope we can save this little little plant here. Uh, and I've got most of the soil off, just some roots here. And then I'm just gonna set it in here. Um, and sort of work that in. Now remember, we've got some soil left, so we don't have to bury this. But uh, there, there is our little succulent. Uh, next, I'm going to add the rest of the soil in, and this should come pretty close to about filling the, the tea cup here. Oops, I banged the camera around a little bit. Okay. All right, good. So, we've got our succulent planted. Good. All right. So another important thing uh, to know when you're doing a succulent garden, once that uh, once this succulent has been planted, we want to leave it alone for uh, probably two days before we add any water to it. Um, especially the succulents I've given you, they have water. Um, so uh, they're, they're going to be okay, but you want to sort of let the roots dry out and get used to this soil before adding water. So next, um, we've done sort of all the the sciency parts of this now, it's just the decorating part. So I'm hoping your succulent will take up a little more room in your teacup than mine does, but uh, um, I didn't want to use one of the good ones uh, because I want you guys to use those. So um, next I'm just going to take some rocks and I'm going to place them in there, sort of, oh, I think I like this one down here actually, and then that. And then um, last but not least, you've got your little, uh, I've got the mad, hatter here. I'm going to stick him in here. This will be the Mad Hatter's succulent garden. And that's it. Uh, you've got, you've planted your own succulent. You've planted your own succulent garden. And um, these will grow um, actually quite a bit. And uh, there are, you can um, at points remove pieces from the succulent garden and uh, root them and then grow them in separate containers if you want. I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to guess I could probably find a book for you at the library that would talk about that. So um, I hope you enjoy this take and make craft. Um, more so, I hope that we can get together soon and uh, do these things in person again. But I appreciate you taking the time to um, grow your succulent. If you have pictures, send them to me. I'd love to see your succulent gardens. I'd love to see what you can do with them. If you've got something other than the the um, stones that I've provided for you, um, I'd like to see what you got. So um, thanks once again for taking the time to check out this video. I hope you come in and grab a succulent kit. I don't have a lot of them. I think I only have, well, 23 now that I used this one to, uh, to demonstrate with, but uh, come, visit, uh, come visit the succulent at the library. It will be uh, by my desk. Come on and say hi and, and uh, see if it's still growing. So, uh, all right. Thanks very much. We will check in with you soon. Have a great day. Bye.